All right, got Scott now. We're going to talk about an amazing book Scott has. Uh, last time he was on the show, we talked about Time for Hugs, which was an awesome book. But now he's gone stellar. I like that's that. True. That's good. That's to good. stellar detective tales. That's pretty good. Tell me all about it, Scott, for those are uh, the so uninitiated. So I've, I've taken the jump from doing comics to just straight up novels. Yes. Because I can get more story told. I felt like pent up story with the <laughs> comic. It's all up in there. Because a, a three hour, it took three hours to do like one page of a web comic. Yeah. Well, three hours gets me like 10 pages of this and I can just keep going and moving. Yeah. So uh, Stellar Detective Tales is about a 1930s detective thrust forward into the far future of 2173 aboard a spaceship where he fights crime not knowing anything about technology. How did that happen? So bad sci-fi channel original plot. Okay. He, uh, there's a gun called the Maelstrom that shoots space-time vortexes. Okay. And it, uh, it shoots a cop in the face in the future. Uh -huh. Swaps his brain with the brain of the detective from the past. Oh, and so he's sucked out of his own time. He's sucked into out of his own time into now. Okay. He fakes being a cop from the future for a while. They just think he's a cop with brain damage because he got shot in the head. But he. Uh, so is he now trying to make his way back? Nope. He's decided he's, he's happy. Gonna, he's, he's happy with it. He gets to drink now. Alcohol was illegal <laughs> in the thirties. It's uh, oh, so it's, there's it's, that kind of that instead of like the man out of water and that's general concept story. He's constantly he in wants the water. where people he's, wants to go back. He's like. Fuck this, I'm loving life now. He drinks like a fish. Okay, I, I'm digging that. So how was it going, f so you said, you know, it would take you X amount of time to write that, so you have you enjoyed this transition to now? It's a lot, a lot of fun. more freedom yeah. for you? And if, if I make a mistake, mm -hmm. it's easier to get out a couple paragraphs and just take a whole piece of art and kind of not like it anymore and throw it away. So how long did this entire book, when did this start and when did you finish this I one? I did and this are you last year, I finished it in a few months. Uh, okay. The next one, I finished the rough draft. It'll be out in January. Okay. This one came out, I'm trying to do a yearly cycle where I get wow. one out a year. Trying to do like pulp fiction, so. Oh, nice. Like back in the day, you just had book after book after yeah. book. Something, something that might not be good for you. This isn't a vegetable. This is a, <laughs> this is a can of Pringles. Gotcha. I want you to open it and keep eating and you might feel bad at the end, but you keep eating it. Okay. Are you self-publishing this book? I am. I'm self-publishing it through the same people I published the uh, the comic from. Okay. So, we'll so how how is that coming along? Are you working towards bigger distribution? What is the distribution yeah, like? So you... I'd like to be published by something else one day. Okay. And that was one of the big things, and I was looking for. But self still maintaining control. Yeah. Yes. And that was one of the things I was looking at from the the self-publisher is mm -hmm. they are in control of this edition. Okay. But if I make enough substantive substantive changes, okay. the second edition I can push out anywhere else. Awesome. So I'm not bound to the publisher. Okay. So how can people get a copy of Stellar Detective? Yeah, it's a, it's on Amazon. Amazon. The Kindle version is just three bucks. Try to nice. Keep it real cheap and easy. Affordable. Yeah. Just and it into. one of the big things that I saw when you were putting together this book, and I was seeing some of the awesome fan art, uh, and I guess a lot yeah. of your friends that we were putting together, and being one of your friends, exactly. I like to think... Although, you know, when you don't find out about a Midnight Toys, oh, <laughs> Toys R Us sadness. Anyway, I'm just going to mess with him. Um, I was very keen about the character. I love the, the visual of him. Thank you. Thank um, you. You know, I love that time period. And then mix, and mixing that time period with the future, I was like, oh, shit, that's all up my alley. So I'm excited and looking forward to checking out the book and giving you to read. But I love the fan art. So are you putting that together as something? Oh, yeah, or is that um, included in specials in the book? I should have brought my art book. Uh, so I put together an art book for this one. And oh, I'm going to so put together an art book for the next one. So it's available as it's well. It's available as well. You can only get it from me. So if you okay. find my Facebook and just shoot me a message, I, yeah. can, I can dish it out. But it's uh, I have a lot of artist friends and I have a lot of author friends. Yeah. And if I'm making some money off of this, I want to push it on to them as well. Support Such the a good community. Guy. Yeah. So I got... I think it was 13 pieces of art for the first book. Just yes. Because we live in an Instagram society. I can't just take a picture of this and be like, hey, look at that. Give me some <laughs> likes. Yeah, yeah. So I paid some people to draw my character, and I made sure they did it in their style. Okay. It's very important. If if you read a paragraph on my page yes. of my book, yeah. you'll get a lot a different mental image than I will. Yeah. It's that whole um, Hermione Granger was black in the latest yeah. Uh, play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and J.K. Rowling came out and said, I never said she was white. And that's the beauty of books on words on a page exactly and uh, another thing i love about books yeah the foundation of everything we love that's in the store you know read the source material people so that's beautiful and i know uh elliot who's off camera right now he's putting together a piece so yeah and you got some other people that are going to be part of some of the next volumes coming up yep so uh it is called stellar detective tales and i thought a little weird that i only had one story going <laughs> 
Uh, uh -huh. I mean, Star Wars is called Wars, and they have multiple wars going on, so I had to do something. Okay. And so, so future volumes are going to include. It, so future friends. volumes, I'm going to have some short stories at the end. Nice. So the main driving force will always be my detective. Yeah. He's he's both in space and he's really great at his job, so he's a stellar detective. And uh, <laughs> but every, that, I'll give you that one. <laughs> But he's, uh, I want other characters to be focused on because he's kind of a Luddite and he's on a spaceship, which okay. means you don't get to see a lot of, and he's new, so he doesn't get the politics, he doesn't get the technology, he just does his job. Okay. And I want all that other stuff to be explored, okay. so I'm paying some other people to write in that. So the next book, uh, Elliot is writing about one of the androids and how he wants to do community theater. And uh, my friend Dan is going to be writing about a hacker okay. who gets around the, the ship. Nice. And then hopefully I will be dropping a pit up. I told them sure, I, I'd love nice. to do one because I was really impressed with the design and I can't wait to tear into it. Where, where would you like to see Stellar Detective Tales go? What, what are you building towards beyond just, you know, just a passion of writing yeah. the ongoing adventures and the books? So I would be happy, more than happy, of just getting the story done. Okay. Uh, I have nine books planned and that's going to be it. It's okay. sort of a, a hard ending. Yeah. Um, of course, I'd be lying if I said I, I don't want something more. And I'd love TV film. I'd love a sci-fi original toys. series, man. A sci-fi <laughs> original series. Yeah. Um, just because that's I grew up with things like Stargate Atlantis or SG One and Netflix. Hey, Netflix! I know you're buying a lot of uh, properties out there. I want, I want th uh, one season on Fox and then it to get canceled and then Netflix to pick it up. <laughs> that would be awesome. It would be. That would be awesome. So Stellar Detective Tales. Give them uh, all the websites, all the social networking engines, everything where they can buy it. So. Amazon, yep, it's, look uh, up Stellar Detective Amazon, Tales. Amazon, look up Stellar Detective Tales. Uh, it's, I've got the Facebook, Instagram. Just look for Stellar Detective Tales. Uh, I believe Twitter is... At Stellar Detective Tales? At Stellar Detective Tales. Okay. Uh, Twitter, I think, is just Stellar Tales. I was dumb. Okay. <laughs> Two different things. But, Any uh, other projects you've got going on that, that you want to promote and how they can you know, follow the Scott Markley? Man, I don't even know what I've got going on at this point. <laughs> it's uh, all Stellar Detective oh, Tales. Oh, right? I am doing a, uh, a review series for this great charity group. I saw that. It's uh, they're up in what is that? Pennsylvania. Um, so they're called the Gearbox Union. Okay. And they give every year they give to um, what is it? Extra Life Charity. And he, good charity. My friend Lee wanted me to do something for him. Okay. And so I'm doing a review series on cell phone apps. Nice. But focusing only on apps that promise to make you a better person in some way. Sweet. So like learn a language. Yeah. Or uh, I found one that teaches you geography or drink enough water every day. I can dig that. So trying to review those every okay. week. So that'll be on Gearbox Union? It'll be on Gearbox Union or it'll be on YouTube under Professor Markley. Professor Markley. That was the, the deal we worked out is I get to have okay. it on their page and it's okay. on my YouTube. Awesome, I dig that. All right, Scott, well, Stellar Detective Tales, make sure you look that up on Amazon. They can get the hard copy the there. The hard copies there too. As well as the Kindle copy, which is $3. That's a steal, y'all. It's free if you have Kindle Unlimited too. If you've got the Amazon Prime and you just click the read. Free. Can't be free. Scott Markley, Elliot Merker, doing an upcoming tale of Stellar Detective Tales. You want the art book, and hopefully it'll feature me. I'm gonna try and drop one together for him. It's a fun time. It's a great looking character. I can't wait to read it. Stellar Detective Ooh. Tales, check it out. Well, it's a good thing you can't wait to read it, because this one's yours. <laughs> I have to sign it. And we're going to end it right there. <laughs> I got my copy, y'all. Cool.